Good evening, good evening you guys and welcome to the late edition of the Good News Sunday Show, Keyword Bible Studies, the Daily Keyword, and the Gap Prayer Band. My name is Sonia and I am your teaching host for this program. And we have been, what we've been doing this week is what I've somewhat titled Bible Basics. And we've talked about the Greek, the Hebrew, and the Aramic, Aramatic keywords. And, well, we've had a pretty good week of study in regards to the Bible. Today, we are going to talk more about the Bible. We're actually going to talk about the Gutenberg Bible, which gets its name from Johannes Gutenberg of Germany. Now, as tr a trade, I am trained a trained graphic designer. So this was an introductory course to me while I took communication in college, visual communication classes in college. Anyway, Johannes Gutenberg was born in Germany in the late 14th century and is believed to have died in 1468. The Gutenberg Bible is also known as the 42 line Bible because the pages are printed in two columns of 42 lines. Two columns of 42 lines. Gutenberg printed the Bible on his newly invented printed press using movable type, movable metal type. Printing already existed in Europe using carved wooden type in the 1400s. It is believed that when Gutenberg printed the Bible in 1455, he spent the past 20 years developing the new printing press. It took him 20 years to develop the printing press and the process for printing Bibles. Gutenberg is also believed to have printed 180 Bibles available through pre-order. So, as we understand it, pre-order is not a new thing. It was around in the 1400s. The average price for one Bible is was believed to have equaled the wages for a clerk to work for three years. It was very, very expensive. Very, very costly. Gutenberg was trained in metalwork, which was crucial to the development of metal use for the movable type that he used to print the Gutenberg Bible. So, also, the Gutenberg Bible was available in two versions. They had two versions of this Bible back in the 1400s to choose from. One was made, one was printed on paper and was less costly. The other was printed on vellum and was more costly. Vellum is more is, is more like um it, you can see through vellum. It's kind of ghostly looking and you can see through it. Unlike paper, which is more opaque. A Gutenberg Bible contains 1,268 pages. 300 pieces of unique type were used in the printing of each and every one of the Bibles, of each page, was used in the printing of each page. And each page took approximately 2,500 pieces of type. Now, when we're typing or writing something, basically when we're typing something, each character that is typed out represents a piece of type. We no longer have to use movable type, but each time a character from an older typewriter strikes the page, that represented a piece of type, okay? It took three to five years to complete the actual print run of the 180 
Bibles that Gutenberg printed back in the 1400s. And of the original 180 Bibles that he printed, 49 are known to exist today. One of them is actually in our Library of Congress. And the reason why we are going through this Bible basic process is we need a more accurate understanding of the value of any given Bible. Today we have many Bibles that are not costly at all that appear as if they have little value. They appear as if the $2.99 that it may cost to purchase a paperback Bible appears as if that particular Bible is only worth $2.99. Well, that $2.99 is the cost that we pay today. But it the overall cost from 1400, 1400s up until now is not considered. Okay, we don't consider that cost, but yet that one Bible carries that cost and the weight of all it took so that we can now produce a, a Bible that we can sell, that people can sell for $2.99. So I, I feel like we don't have an accurate understanding of the cost and the weight of the Lord's most holy word. So this is why I wanted to talk just a little bit today about the printed work, the Bible itself, and what all one man went through to bring this work into being. 20 years. 20 years. He lived in Germany, and this was a pain, a painstaking task. This was not an easy task to develop something in metal. He had to work with a lot of heat and a lot of tools in order to create metal type. This is way before the advent of the typewriter. This is years before the advent of the typewriter, you understand. So, nevertheless, this is what we're learning today in Bible Basics is how the printed word was printed so we can have a better understanding of the value of that word today. So, this is Sonia signing out for the Good News Sunday Show, Keyword Bible Studies, the Daily Keyword, and the Gap Prayer Band. And thank you, thank you, and have a blessed evening.